Amber just told you about our increase in lead for retail registrations. And to help you, to help us market our brand, we have created the matrix for retail. This is unique to, this is our unique chance. Messages need to, need to focus on customer core values and needs, reinforcing the basic shopper retailer contract of quality, price, experience. Now, how does sustainability come into play? How do you do that? For many years, green retail was seen as an oxymoron. In an industry where the bottom line rules supreme, the idea of going green was considered a distant pipe dream and prohibitively expensive for the profit margins the green, world, the green retail world operates in. Today, this paradigm has shifted. Green retail is viewed as a necessary part of an economically viable business model. Nordstrom uses waterless urinals in all of its stores. Macy's belongs to the top 20 on-site clean energy producers in the country. IKEA achieves 33% energy reductions with heat exchangers and on-demand ventilation. At Target, the average store at Target reduces HVAC by 30% compared to baseline. Whole Foods features a reduce, reuse, recycle program. REI, you know what REI is all about. In the discipline of interior lighting alone, REI connects all interior lighting to photosensors. Market evidence shows that you can achieve annual reductions of 30% in energy and 70% in water by implementing some industry baseline standards. Now, when I say industry baseline, these are the low hanging fruits. These are the retail no brainers. These are easy to implement. These are easy to talk about. For example, motion detectors in storerooms dim the area lights by 80% when nobody's around. Motion detectors are also installed in toilets and corridors. Interior lights dim to 60% of usual during janitorial merchandise loading, unloading times. Use of the most heat of the most energy efficient heating and cooling systems, incorporation of thermostats, electronically regulated air curtains at store entrances to control the influx of, holder, of colder and hotter air going in and out. Speed controlled mechanical escalators, very common in Europe, move into the retail mall, move, move into the retail and entertainment industries. These are very technical propositions. However, these are the base and as said, low hanging fruit items that need to be woven into our discussion with the client. How do we do that? In order to prepare you for this dialogue and help you organize this conversation with your client, we have prepared a new tool, the matrix for retail. We are launching it today. It is on the intranet and it consists, comprises of a toolbox of strategies that are specific to retail, specific to our market. An easy way to connect with your retail client is to build on the shopper, on the shopper retailer contract I talked about earlier. The attributes of quality, for example, can be linked with beauty and clarity, active interior walls, urban farming. These are a few of new strategies that you'll find online. In your next client communication, you have now the ability to qualify those strategies that are specific to your project, to our market. Let me give an example from our commercial project. 